Hello. Today I want to introduce you to a warm-up for learning in the Brain Gym program called PACE. PACE is an acronym that stands for Getting Positive, Active, Clear, and Energetic. And when we do these four movements together, we actually start with the E, Getting Energetic, and we work our way backwards. So, we're going to begin with the E. The movement for getting energetic is sipping water. So take a moment, push pause, go get a glass of water, and have a sip. So far so good. That's pretty simple. The second part of PACE is getting clear. And this activity is brain buttons. And so we take one hand and we put it on our belly button. Our other hand goes right under our collarbone. That's your top rib. You're on either side of the sternum. Your sternum is the vertical bone down the middle. Your collarbone is the horizontal bone across the top. So you're right in the right angles of that capital T. You can rub that top hand, and while you're doing so, take your eyes and move them side to side as if you're reading a book. This is called eye tracking. So I'm going to take my eyes and move them one side over to the other side. Continue. Hey, I wonder if you remember to keep breathing. Who was holding their breath? Let's switch hands. Other hand on top, right underneath that collarbone. We're going to rub and we're going to move our eyes side to side. And this time we're going to make sure we're breathing. So we're going to take a breath in and move our eyes from one side to the other. Breathe in. Now we're ready for the third activity. It's to get us active. We've got everything figured out. We know where our top and our bottom is, our left and our right. This kind of answers that question of where am I? Really good for those little children that seem to crash into things and don't seem real self-aware of where their body is in space. So now we're ready to get active with the activity called the cross crawl. So what we do is we lift one leg, and we take our opposite arm, and we bring them together. And then we switch. It's kind of like walking. We want to make sure our shoulder is moving and our opposite hip is moving. We ask our preschoolers about skipping all the time. So look at a skip. It's the same as a cross crawl, except it involves leaving the earth and coming back. So this is just a little less vigorous, requires a little less space. You can do it standing in one place. For our young children who aren't able to do this yet, we just invite them to crawl on the floor. Even our toddlers and preschoolers still appreciate an invitation to crawl. They might want to act like an animal, move like an animal. You can find some music. This is really good because if I'm moving both sides of my body, that means both sides of my brain are working as well. When that feels like enough, we're ready for the fourth activity. We're going to get positive. The activity involves crossing your ankles and place your weight evenly on both sides. Now extend your hands out in front of you, thumbs are down, cross, clap, down and up, and breathe. Notice how everything is right on the midline. My hands are on the midline, my legs are on the midline, my feet, everything is right on the center, and that's our goal here. This often is very calming, especially to children. When that feels like enough, uncross your feet, unhook your hands, and just bring them together. So you're just touching your fingertips together, gently and softly. This is often a time when I invite children to 
sit down, get ready for the lesson, so they may take this opportunity to get out whatever materials they need for the lesson. All right, thank you for joining me for PACE.